As the big fallout grows even bigger for Ye West, the digital music service Spotify is now criticizing the rapper as well, but says it will not be dropping his music from its streaming service. This a day after West lost his spot on Forbes list of billionaires after Adidas gave him the boot. Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen joins us live with the latest. Daniel. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, everyone. Kanye became a hip hop mogul and media star by creating songs with edgy lyrics that launched him into a global icon. Now Kanye's words have created a global controversy after a series of disturbing comments, including Kanye saying he would go death con three on Jewish people. Adidas, the latest corporation to end a partnership that made Kanye a billionaire. The decision by Adidas to cut ties is costing the company almost $250 million. Fashion powerhouse Balenciaga, J.P. Morgan Chase, Vogue, Gap, CAA, just a few of the other organizations severing their relationship. Conservatives often criticize cancel culture. But is that what this is? Emily Austin is a Jewish pro-Israel activist from New York who speaks to audiences around the world. She says this is not cancel culture, and here's why. Two separate things we're dealing with. I think cancel culture, by the way, let me preface this with, I hate cancel culture. I think it's the worst way to tackle hate. In fact, I think it promotes more hate and it doesn't educate anyone on the situation. He said himself, Adidas will never drop me no matter what anti-Semitic remarks I make. So he himself acknowledged that he said anti-Semitic remarks. He's not uneducated. He's well aware of the hate he's promoting. He continues to do it despite having opportunities to take it back. And I don't think it's a question whether or not it was harmful towards the Jewish people. So how much is the controversy costing Kanye? Forbes magazine says Kanye's loss from the Adidas breakup alone drops Kanye's net worth to $400 million from $1.5 billion. Twitter and Instagram have suspended Kanye's accounts, and a documentary about the rapper's life has been shelved. The Holocaust Museum in Los Angeles offered Kanye a private tour, an invitation the rapper turned down. Christina, one last thing about the Spotify decision. The streaming service says it doesn't consider Kanye's music hate speech and won't take it down unless his label requests it. Thank you.